Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. I want to apologize for the video clicking off when it did their cancer. But where we left off with was your enemies are, what I'm seeing here with the, what showed up in the crystal is that there's like demonic energies that are around you. And they are in a very deep cult. And this is something where they are, this is like something that's very heavy and it's a very negative energy but one thing if they to know is that they worship death but know that we worship life we worship you know the resurrection of jesus and you know god already conquered death so god has already conquered your enemy so they're they're worshiping something that has already been conquered so always remember that and excuse the dogs in the background uh the puppy is annoying one of the older dogs because they're not playing with her so she's throwing a bit of a temper tantrum and they're getting annoyed so <laughs> bear with me but um in the crystal ball the man was holding a child and it was a little boy and he had blonde hair and i'm picking up like this was the father of the child and um the father didn't resemble anything of the child um, they did not have any of the same uh, characteristics, and the father seemed to have sharper features, and the child had a uh, rounder face, and the child had a light about it. The child had a good soul, but the father who was holding the child was very demonic. So you can come, now this will only resonate with a few of you out there, um, you can come from a bloodline that has demonic ties. And like I said, this won't apply to everyone, but for some of you out there, there is something about uh, a family that's very connected to the occult and they could have tried to, um, what would be the word for, I want to say groom you to be what they are, but that they could not, they could not do that because you're of the light. It's like they were upset because you were something that was born that was not like them, if that makes sense. It's like they were expecting a demon seed to be born, and instead a child of God was born, is what I'm seeing here. So I feel like they did terrible acts against you to try to make you evil, to try to corrupt you, but they couldn't. They couldn't change, they could not change your soul. Excuse the dog in the background. They could not change your soul. And they could have, uh, you know, surrounded you, you know, you could have been surrounded by evil people all your life, you know, people coming into your life that were just demonic energies, just bent on destroying you, slandering you, being false accusers. And why I say false accusers is because you have the six of wands here. The six of wands represents receiving praise and recognition. This is being known for being, you know, being something, being, you know, good things. This is like an honorable praise here with the six of wands. And with that being paired up next to the Three of Cups, this is like a group of people, you know, up to three people could possibly be more, but like celebrating and praising you. It's like you're being seen for who you truly are. Perhaps these people have slandered you because the card that came out next was the Judgment card. And with the Judgment card being here, this symbolizes God giving divine judgment. And this card went flying across the room when it flipped out. I had to pick it up. And if the video clicks off, I will make the third part of the video. So sorry about that. But with the judgment card being here, this is letting me know that God is going to be giving you good karma. God is going to make sure that you are being praised because I feel like you were slandered. And it's going to be known that these demonic energies were the ones that were in the wrong. They were the ones being deceitful and evil and slandering you. And God is going to be giving you good judgment as these demonic energies are going to be seen for what they truly are. I feel like they were masquerading, pretending to be, you know, good people when truth they were not. And they were trying to condemn you when they were the evil ones. So that's what I'm seeing here. It's like uh, they're going to be revealed. And then you got the Thunderbird Vision Trailblazer, which is interesting because uh, Thunderbird appeared in the crystal yesterday for a different reading. But with Thunderbird Trailblazer being here, this is letting you know to set your own path. You're not meant to follow the crowd. You're meant to follow the path that God is leading you down. He's leading you down a divine path. And it's going to be, you know, different from what everyone else's is. I'm trying to get the light to adjust here. So bear with me. I'm having a bit of a hard time all of a sudden with the light. But with the trailblazer, you're meant to set your own path that Jesus is leading you down. It's a divine path. And I'll make the second half. 